all week long. We're giving you the tools and inspiration to look at your life in a different way and make the changes you need to live your best life in 2009. I'm laughing because, anyway. Right now, <laughs> thousands of people are online with us from every corner of the globe. China, hi, Iceland, Kuwait, Japan, and Botswana, and of course, all 50 states here in America. Welcome to our web class, Planet Earth. Oh. I'm, I'm really excited about this today because in, in medicine, it's so often that we'll have an ovarian lottery. You know, wherever you're born, that's the health care you get. Yes. But today, we're all over the planet, and so we're going to get great questions from Iceland that might generate a good response in Chicago that someone in China's got a better idea on. Runa is Skyping. Runa uh, from her living room in Iceland. Hello, Runa. Hi, Oprah, and hi, Dr. Ross. Hey, Runa. Warm regards from Iceland. Thank you. I want to know, what, what, what's the temperature in Iceland? I want to see if it's colder there than it, uh, warmer there than it is in Chicago. What's the temperature? Do you know? Um, it's about zero in the centigrade. That's, what, 32 in the Fahrenheit, isn't it? It's warmer in Iceland. It's warmer in Iceland than it is in Chicago. Okay, go ahead. Your question, Runa. Hi, well, Dr. Ross, I'm concerned about the ec economic downturn because everywhere I go, there's so much stress in people's life, and I'm wondering... Are there any special food or uh, vitamins or herbs that we should be taking to keep our spirits up? Or maybe something that could give us the balance to yeah. keep our mind, body, spirit in... in Are there any health? happy vitamins? Yeah, That's happy good. vitamins. <laughs> I love that. Well, well, a couple of things. There, there are foods that we know how people cope with stress. I, I mentioned uh, omega-3s earlier in that context. We actually did an experiment uh, with the BBC where we took cab drivers and uh, had obnoxious passengers get in behind them and ask them you know, questions that were tough to, de to deal with. And then we gave them sardines, which have lots of these healthy fats, and then redid the test. And they actually coped much better. They didn't get lost in the city. They were able to get where they wanted to go, and they reported their stress level was lower. So it, what did it calm you? It calms you. Yeah. Because it, it gives you the nutrients to cope. But across the board, historically, how humans coped with stress was fasting, uh, elective fasting. You just sort of, you know, drop all the toxins that might be coming into your food supply, and, and take down, just shut it down and slow it down. And I think that should be part of uh, the thought process for people who really feel wiped out. But we also, as a species, had the ability to find certain herbs that are called adaptogens. And these are primarily antioxidants, and uh, they are found in nature in different places. In North America, we have ginseng, for example, which is a very important adaptogen. Uh, and it helps us cope with the flu. Uh, it helps us get through difficult times. In, uh, in uh, northern Europe, they have rhodiola in Siberia as well. I mean, it helps them live in Siberia. So drinking, yeah. you know, like chamomile tea with ginseng in it at night is a very calming yeah. thing, I think. Calming, and it's an adaptogen, so mm -hmm. it gets you through that. And, and there are other adaptogens as well. Uh, the maca, it, which is used in South America a lot, is an adaptogen. It helps them live in those very high altitudes in the, in the Andes. So these herbs... Uh, have a unique ability to, to super drive our system to cope with stressors that would normally weaken us. Mm. And I think that's one of the beauties of the planet. The reason we talk about you know, maybe doing a planet health uh, tour one day is because ultimately the reason for us to take care of this place we live called the, the, the Earth is because it actually provides the healing, nurturing powers that ultimately will sustain our species. So when we, when we can, can dive into the beauty of the planet and understand not just at the level of an herb, which is a great tool, but also spiritually how it influences us, uh, you know, how it impacts everything we think about, uh, th then we realize, my goodness, this is ultimately where our source of energy comes from. That's why when we hurt the planet, we're hurting ourselves. Runa, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's Runa. I love that name.